Aries, this is your mid-October 2019 reading. It is the full Celtic cross. And I'm looking for positive energies and hopefully new energies, you know, for Aries. Full Celtic cross, mid-October 2019 for uh, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Those born on the zodiac sign of Aries. I'm looking for positive energies, hopefully new energies. As you know, this may not resonate with all Aries individuals, but I always look for a positive reading no matter what, and you know that. Three of Cups. Someone may want to celebrate and hang out with you. Maybe it's celebrations. Maybe it's time to celebrate. Who knows? But for some reason, you feel like you're carrying a burden with the Ten of Wands. What's crossing it is the world, is uh, karmic cycles trying to finish something out, trying to start something new with the world card jumping into something new. What crowns you as a devil in reverse, you're trying to come unchained from a situation. You don't want to be stuck anymore. And you want to come out of hermit mode with the hermit in reverse is the foundation. In the past, you were dealing with your Ten of Pentacles, trying to get your overall stability, financial stability, and wealth. But you're like, having a burden, and but you're, and you're trying to you're trying to come unstuck, and it looks like that's what you're doing. You're trying to lift that burden. In the near future, you may get a message, an emotional message of friendship or love or gifts from people. It also that you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Hopes and fears, no, not the hopes and fears, um, possible future outcome and advice from the universe is the queen of rods. This could be you. The advice from the universe is saying to keep your crown, um, keep going the way you are, your passionate energy. What is coming towards you, the outside environment, but beyond your control, someone wants to come out of taking a break. Maybe uh, you had a separation with somebody in some way or they weren't contacting you or you couldn't see them for some reason. Someone wants to come out of taking a break. Your hopes and fears, you will not get wish fulfillment. That's just a fear. Remember that with the Nine of Cups. In the end, you come out of heartbreak with the Three of Swords. So someone wants to come out of taking a break with you, Aries. Maybe it's the other person that feels a burden, you know, because it's someone on the outside wants to come out of this, like, resting stage. But let's go back to the beginning because you know this can change the story up, and I need to clarify. So the Ten of Wands and the World card crossing it. Why are you there for Aries in mid-October? Why are you there? King of Pentacles could have to do with a um, Earth sign. Or it's just maybe this is your you're going to take on this energy even though it's earth sign energy in reverse you feel like there's no stability in the situation and you feel like it's a burden so ten of wands the world card crossing it the king of pentacles in reverse while you're there for aries this is a subject at hand judgment and you may judge against the situation because of it because it's not bringing you stability and you don't want to repeat a cycle now, what's crowning you is to release something. Like I said, you don't want to be chained down. So the devil, in reverse, while you're there for Aries, as what crowns them are the goal. Lovers, you don't want to be chained down to a lover situation, possibly, or someone doesn't want to be chained with you. Now, the devil, in reverse, the lovers in the upright, I'm thinking it's you don't want to be chained down. Um, while you're there for Aries is what crowns them. What's going on? Yeah, and you, you probably got more than just one offer coming your way. <clears throat> more than one person wants you in their lives. <clears throat> Excuse me, one wants two more than one person wants to collaborate in a lover's situation, but you're like, eh. And maybe, you know, you want to play the field a little for some of you. Or like I said, it could be vice versa. These readings can flip. Now, the foundation, you're coming out of hermit mode. You don't want to be, you know, thinking to yourself or stuck at home or anything like that. So the hermit, in reverse, why are you there for, for Aries as the foundation? Why are you there? You're wanting to come out of this hermit mode, but at the same time, it's like you're still kind of reminiscing on the, a past issue that you're having trouble moving on from, but... Maybe that's why you want to come out of hermit mode. You don't want to be thinking about these things. Now the hermit in reverse, six of uh, swords in reverse. Why you there for Aries is the foundation. And you don't want to fight and argue with people. And you don't want to accept fighting and arguing. And you don't want to 
<clears throat> you will not you don't want to feel defeated also with the five of swords in reverse now in the past you had the ten of pentacles you had your overall stability in some way sometimes it's wealth sometimes it's just security sometimes it's getting something you really wanted that you worked hard for so the ten of pentacles in the upright in the past position for aries why are you there yeah you you were competing battling with other people to get this too with the five of wands so the ten of pentacles the five of wands both in the upright for aries why are you there in the past position and you really thought about what you were going to do before you even done you know went for it with the Nine of Wands, that's somebody who goes for something or right before they take on a burden, which you do have a burden here as a subject of the hand, to go forward with your overall stability. You, weren't com you were competing with other people. And it looks like you were doing a very good job with it, too, or you're going to. For some of you, this hasn't happened yet, but I'm thinking for a few of you, it has. Um, if it hasn't, we're all on a different timetable. Just keep on going forward. Keep on doing um, whatever you're doing to compete and win. Now, in the very near future, you got the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups can be, like I said, a messenger. It could be a water sign. It could be someone who's kind of young at heart and, you know, their emotions. Maybe, they got a, maybe they're crushing on you in some way or you're crushing on them. So, Page of Cups in the upright while you're there in the very near future for Pisces. I mean... I mean, I'm thinking of Pisces. So some of you may be dealing with a Pisces because I'm looking at the water sign. Page of Cups, why are you there for Aries? Gotta remember that. Just because Pisces comes to mind doesn't mean it's a Pisces reading. Yeah, someone's wanting a new start with you. Ace of Wands, that's a fire type energy. They're wanting a, a new beginning. They're wanting a passionate beginning. And they're kind of young at heart. You know, they, they, you know, it's a, you know that young love stage. I, or I shouldn't say young love. Um, that beginning of love stage, you know, when you're really crushing on somebody. So Page of Cups, Ace of Wands, both in the upright for Aries. In the very near future, why are you there? Somebody liking on you. And they want to release a burden by, you know, letting you know, you know. And maybe you want to release a burden with them. So you may be dealing with a water sign. Like I said, someone who's really, you know, got their heart open for you. Interesting. Now, possible future outcome and advice from the universe. This is the universe is telling you to go on the way you're doing. Got that crown on your head. You're doing well. Or you can do well if you want it to. So the Queen of Rods in the upright. Why are you there? for Aries as a possible future outcome or advice from the universe. Yeah, even if you're having trouble walking away from a situation or a burden or whatever it is, um, and maybe, no, I'm thinking, now that I think about it, it's just not just to walk away just because when things get tough. Because it's saying, it's advice from the universe. It's saying, Queen of Rods, take your crown. Don't walk away just from anything, just because when things get rough. But I don't think you're going to. But who knows, you may, because you don't want to be chained down. <clears throat> Queen of Rods in the upright. Eight of Cups in reverse while you're there for Aries. It's a possible future outcome or advice from the universe. Better slow down a little, because I'm going really fast. King of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Or maybe this is something um, the universe is saying that you, you have to re react quickly and where you want to go in life. That you need to stay strong and vibrant to get where you need to go. And don't like... Don't worry about burdens in the past. It's Don't walk away from good opportunities also. Or maybe, you know, don't walk away from a new love situation because someone wants to come out of taking a break. They want to offer you something. And maybe it's the universe saying don't walk away, but I'm not sure just yet. i got to get to the end. Swords. In reverse, coming towards Aries, someone wants to come out of taking a break. This is something beyond your control. You can't control this person or situation. You can control what you do and how you react towards it. <clears throat> So four swords in reverse while you're there for Aries as the outside environment. Yeah, someone's having a tower moment and they're going to come towards you. You know, someone's going to make a move towards you. So four swords in reverse, the tower card in the upright. Something that you're not expecting. You're not going to expect this person coming towards you either. Why are you there for Aries? 
Why are you there? Queen of Wands. Could be another fire sign. I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's you there that you're not going to be expecting this. Is this, this someone wanting to come out of taking a break? It can be another fire sign. Or someone comes passionately towards you, but you're not going to be expecting this at all. Hmm. Now, your hopes and fears, you got the Nine of, of, of Cups. You're afraid your, your wishes won't come true. Your dreams won't come true. You've, you're afraid you won't get wish fulfillment. So, Nine of Cups in reverse for Aries. Why are you there? And the hopes and fears, why are you there? Why are you there? Two of Swords. You're thinking about blocking situations. You just want peace in your life with the Two of Swords in the upright. So Nine of Swords, I mean Nine of Cups in reverse, Two of Swords in the upright. Why are you there for Aries and the hopes and fears? King of Pentacles, I mean, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You're afraid something will come to a complete halt on you. And you're afraid, you're afraid of it in some way. You're afraid you won't get wish fulfillment. In the very end, you got the Three of Swords in reverse. You're coming out of feeling um, heartbroken. Or someone wants to come out of feeling heartbroken with, you know, having a broken heart with you. So Three of Swords in reverse. Why are you there for Aries? As the final outcome, why are you there? Yeah, they want to come out of a failed situation. They're looking at the failed situation with the Seven of Pentacles, or you are. They're wanting to come out of that, and they're thinking about it. So Three of Swords in reverse, Seven of Pentacles in the upright. As the final outcome for Aries, why are you there? Final outcome. Then we'll do a love reading, a three-card love reading. And they want to come out of disappointment. Yeah. And there you are, King of Wands. I'm getting a lot of this Wands energy. It could be your energy, like I said, because let's face it. <clears throat> it is you, <clears throat> King of Wands in the upright. You hold your crown. But I'm thinking, um, and you're passionate, and you're really doing well. <clears throat> but someone wants to come out of taking a break, when you're going to hear of a tower moment with them, not within yourself, but it's going to involve you in some way. So they're going to approach you maybe. And maybe that's why that burden is there. But I need three cards. It may take off from this reading, this love situation. Or I may get a whole, totally different energy. I need three cards for a love reading for Aries. Because it just tells me that someone's coming towards you. And some, and you're wanting to come out. And you're coming out of a heartbroken situation. It has to do with a past heartbreak. And someone is thinking about it. Someone's thinking about how something had failed. And they're wanting to come out of disappointment. So I need three cards for Aries. Hopefully no one knocks on the door and I cut this off for a second. Three cards for Aries. Three cards for Aries. Because they may come knocking on the door. We need something good for mid-October for Aries. Three cards. I don't want to have to start this uh, reading again. That's why I'm saying I hope you know I don't get interrupted again. Express your love. It says express your love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture, Aries. Someone, like I said, someone wants to come out of taking a break, but it's gonna. You deserve love. You are lovable, and you feel like you got the honeymoon stage again. You know that new love. Remember, I told you that crush love. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So it's up to you, Aries. You know, in the bottom, they got romantic feelings. So, someone's crushing on you. I don't know what you're going to do about it. They want to come out of heartbreaking situation. And you're going to hear about a tower moment with them. You know? It looks like someone likes you. But I'm also seeing that where you may not want to feel chained to a situation. Because you're getting going. You're going for your financial rewards in life. You know? But someone wants to release a burden with you, even though your goal is not to become stuck in a lover situation. And I do feel like some of you got more than one love interest that someone's interested in you. So that for Pisces too. So remember I told you these energies can flip. So some of you may want to look at Pisces reading. 
if it, you know, you know, it may resonate. But this is your reading, you know. Love is in the air for a lot of the signs where, was it last month? Everything was just, I hated reading last month. It was terrible. But, um, yeah, everybody's got new love interests coming in. Or someone, you know, wanting to come out of a heartbreaking situation with you. But I think you got more, like I said, more than one person liking on you, crushing on you. So that's your reading, and I'll upload it as soon as I can, Aries. Talk to you later. Bye.